Hi guys, my name is Tasha McGlashan. If I seem kind of out of it, it's I had some dental work done yesterday, so please forgive the kind of monotone voice that I got. But anyway, thank you so much for wanting to learn how to create funnels, which is what this training is about. So in case you don't know, um, I am participating in the One Funnel Away Challenge where for 30 days I get to learn how to build my funnel and then launch it and make money. And then I can also make commissions for as an affiliate to sell uh, the One Funnel Away Challenge, which by the way is only $100. A lot of people um, are participating in this, in this group that I'm in right now. So I highly encourage you to um, participate in it and see how it it works and that's the point of this video is to let you know that it's not as difficult as it may seem okay so what I'll be doing is I'm going to go through the training I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to come back and show you what um, I've learned so in case you haven't heard of click funnels click funnels is where you create your funnels and where you're able to launch it right away so this is what the uh, desktop or the dashboard looks like. And uh, when I click here, funnels, um, you'll see that I have a funnel already from a previous affiliate program. But today's mission, is what they usually call it, is all about the funnel that they made for us. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, change the wording, change the images, change the video if we have any. And it's going to teach us that step by step. So rather than be, well, I want to be safe than sorry. So I don't want to record the video of the training since, you know, we've already paid for it. Just trust that when I'm done with the video, I'm basically showing you what I've learned. So it's all a learning process. So this is no editing, no notes. I am just doing this totally off the cuff. And I hope that you enjoy it. So here's my first pause as I'm going to go through the training. So I'll see you in a bit. Hi again. Okay, so what we're actually doing here is we're not actually working on the funnel, each of the steps of the funnel today. What we're doing today is just playing around with it. So you'll be following my journey uh, each day of the week up until we launch it. So that's what I'm doing for you guys is to show you my process and again this is um, unedited it's just raw it's just letting showing you exactly what it, I'm, I'm learning and then I'm doing and that's the important thing is after you are shown how to do something pause it do it that's all you got to do okay so what you're looking at is uh, the ClickFunnels dashboard again and the one funnel way share funnel is the funnel that they're sharing they've already made the funnel all I have to do is put my text, my images, my videos, my products into it. And each day of this challenge, we're gonna, he's Russell Brunson, who is the creator of ClickFunnel, he's gonna show us how to create each of those pages in the entire funnel, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add the funnel. And it looks like share funnels being processed. So there's the bar letting you know where it's at in uploading so I'm gonna go back to the training and I will see you shortly okay so I just watched the video with uh, Julie and she is just basically breaking down what areas of ClickFunnels that we'll be focusing on so for example I just downloaded the one funnel way share funnel and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna view the funnel and this is the funnel that we're going to be working on all week and launching next week. So as you can see on this left hand side, we have the squeeze page, the sales page, the order form, the OTO page, which stands for one time offer. We have an order confirmation page, a members area login and members area access. So we are going to be taught how to set up each of these pages. Now, I've worked with ClickFunnels before. I had left and then I came back. So it's really funny how life kind of full circles me back to where I was. I didn't really understand the funnel. I just, I focused on the funnel instead of the foundations. 
that you need to create first before you put everything into the funnel. Because technically the funnel building, it's the easiest part. The hardest part is creating offers, creating your story, and getting people to engage with you. That's the hardest part. The funnels are easy. I didn't get that then, so I do now. So I appreciate um, funnels a lot more now that I understand it. So what she went over were the steps, which is where we're going to be focusing on uh, throughout the next two weeks. The stats here, and I'll have to forgive my slow laptop here, this shows me how I'm doing on each of my pages, the page views, the opt-ins, the sales, the earnings. So probably after the last week of this month, when we launch our funnels, I'll be able to gauge what's working, what might need to be tweaked, or what might need to be changed altogether. And then it shows me my earnings per click, my gross, and my average car value. So that's awesome. Uh, the contacts here is who opts in. I give them a reason to give me their email address because I'm exchanging something of value for free. So on this page is blank, obviously, because I haven't launched this uh, funnel yet. But when I do, I will be able to see everybody that gave me their uh, email their email address. Okay, this is the sales, and it just tells me what my sales are, um, and I'll be and I'm able to download them. It looks like I can view all purchases for the last 30 days, which is really cool. And the last thing she showed us was our settings, where we can change the name of this. Right now it says One Funnel Away Shared Funnel. Oh, you got a pop-up there. Yay. Okay, so we're able to tag. Um, we can create our own domain. I could use this one that I already bought, but we'll learn how to do that. I don't want to, you know, jump the gun on anything. So if I want to track how well uh, my ads are doing, if I wanted to do Facebook, I can put the Facebook uh, pixel here. But I'm not doing um, Facebook ads, I'm doing solo ads. It's where I purchase buyer clicks from someone who already has a list of people who would be interested in my product. I am able to share this funnel. Uh, oh, I can also clone this funnel. So if I get this perfected and it's making me money and I can go clone this exact funnel for another product and then once that gets me money I can clone it again and sell another product on and on and on so that's really really cool um, I looks like I can set up stripe and Zapier webhooks not sure what that is I'm part of these here JVZoo Clickbank Warrior Press and PayPal and then remember to save and update your settings when you do choose to use this section okay so I am going to go back to the training and which again is pretty much playing around with these pages to see what we can change and update. All right, see you soon. Okay, so again, what we we're encouraged to do um, is to play with each of these pages. Uh, she showed us a way to um, save this page, or not save it, uh, rather, uh, was it split testing? Actually, I think it was cloning. There we go, clone this, clone it. So that way we can play around with it and not mess up what's going on here because we don't wanna, we don't wanna mess that up. So here it is here. It just dropped down on this right-hand side, other funnel steps, select a view, squeeze page. And then I should be able to start playing with it. Let's see what it's doing here, it's still loading. And almost there, real long time. And it should appear underneath the member area access. At least that's what it did in, the, in her video demo. And again, we're waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, let me pause until it comes up so you guys aren't bored to death here. Okay, I figured it out. Okay, so here we go. So I click on this squeeze page. And now I'm gonna click on edit page. And what edit page does, it lets you see that whole funnel page that you're working on. Okay, so here's what we call the squeeze page. This gives us a 
heading, a subheading, an image, an animated image, and a place for you to put your name and your email address and your button. Now, as I'm hovering over all of this, you see different colors, right? Well, these are called, um, uh, they're different sections and they're niched down to something specific. So if memory serves me well, I believe that this was uh, the column, this is the blue section, and you had the green, okay, the green section is the section. And the blue section is a subsection where you are able to add the orange, which is the uh, the text, the elements. And my apologies, I forgot what the blue was. But anyway, you're able to add a new element, such as a headline, a subheadline, a bullet, an image, a video, an audio player. So, for example, if I wanted to put another headline, boom, there it is. If I don't like it, I can delete it. I can change the um, uh, the font. I can italicize it. I can put underline. Centered. If I don't want it centered, I can change that. If it's a web link, I can add the link, and it becomes a link. So there that is. Okay, so now that I don't want this orange section or element, I want to delete it. Sure? Yes. That's pretty much what you can do in this section. So if you wanted to add another... Ah, oh, there it is. Blue is row. So you can have... So here are the rows here. So in the blue, you have three three columns. This one is only one. And that's how you're able to break up your, your cells page. All right, thank you, Sales Funnel, or Cliff Funnels for that. Okay, so if I wanted to add a new row, then it gives me an option. Do I want one column? Do I want four? Do I want a left sidebar, a right sidebar? Actually, I don't know what that is. Let's look at it. Ah, okay. So here we go. I can add an element. I can add an image. And there's a demo image there for me. And then maybe I want to add bullet points. And boom, there it is. So that's pretty easy. It's just click and 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 edit basically and another fun thing you can do is you can move this say i want the demo image here Oop. looks like i'm not able to do that because it's uh okay let's do this if i wanted to move this i could there's the demo image and now i can add a new image here if i wanted or an image pop-up i guess there's a thumbnail and still keep um my widget list here so this is pretty much what you can do in ClickFunnels, is you just add elements like text or video. You can add a, a row, the blue, and then you can add your uh, sections, which is the green. <clears throat> Excuse me. And see what what does down do? Nothing. Up. What does that do? Nothing. Okay. So if I wanted to add another green section. Who's in here? Where'd you go? Green. Settings. Okay, so I can, looks like I can do images. I can mess with the margin, see how it moves. Moves everything down. Uh, the, the section width, full page, what does that look like? Okay. Full page. If I wanted to do that. So this is what um, we, we've been encouraged to do today, is just to play around with it. Um, let's see, can I, okay, input type, full name, or sometimes people don't want to put their full name, sometimes the first name will do, and then it should change, first name. Uh, placeholder t text, I can change that from your name to first name. And I don't want it to be required, sometimes that can be a pain in the neck. Font family, oh, I can change the font. Oh, nice, look at that, and there's, um, Examples of different kind of uh, fonts that I could change it to. So let's say it's already on Domini. How would I do Baskerville? What does that look like? I don't really see much of a change. Let's try something else. Oxygen? Oh, there we go. Okay, I see it. It's only in the first name. Okay. So anyway, that's what you can do. Um, if you want to hide it, you click on there, and there goes, you just want their email address, you can do that. And I forgot where she told us if we did have an element. Ah, I think it was element manage. Ah, here we go. Input form. Boom. 
there's the first name shows again. Uh, she also told us that we're able to go back here and test uh, which squeech page is doing really well so we can start a split test. This is probably more advanced. She may or may not teach us this in the future, but it's good to know that you're able to test what's working and what's not working because what we were taught in the books is the market will tell you um, what they like and what they don't like. And you always want to listen to the market because they're the one that's buying. It's like if there's something missing, if there's something that they are not seeing, they'll let you know, hey, where's this? Why doesn't this work? And why doesn't that work? And if you're a good uh, marketing person, you pay attention to those questions and then you start finding the answers to those questions. And then you make a product that answers those questions and then you, you become, you know, the, the solution, the, the solution person to go to, if I hope that makes sense. But anyway, uh, let me go back to the training, see what else she's going to teach us, and then I'll sh come back and show you. All right. Hopefully you're seeing how powerful uh, ClickFunnels really is and how I would encourage you to take the One Funnel Away Challenge, uh, which I will give a link after the entire training is done. And by the entire training, I mean the entire uh, funnel challenge, I believe it ends next week, probably the end of next week, maybe even Halloween, I'm not sure. But anyway, I will be back. All right, real quick, I for totally forgot to show you that you can see the desktop version and the mobile version. So as soon as this thing loads up, here you go. So this is what it looks like on the desktop. And by the way, this is the, uh, the one that I haven't changed. <laughs> Okay, and then here's, you click on mobile, boom, this is what it looks like on, on mobile. And you can still change and add things as well. So that's your mobile preview. Also wanted to show you here, this is the link right here to the squeeze page. So if I click on this icon, as you can see, it says tmaglashin77.clickfunnels.com forward slash opt-in. This is the link that I will be sharing to get people to this page and give me their email address. Of course, all of this will be changed. Um, I'll probably even change these things as well once we start going into the video, or excuse me, once we start going into how we set this up for our particular offer. So again, um, we clicked on this link and it, takes me directly to the opt-in page. Okay, all right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're back. She encouraged us to, again, go through each page and just play around with it. Um, so again, these pages take kind of a while to load up. Thanks, at and Okay, so, um, here's what our sales page is gonna look like right after someone gives me their email address. And again, we can look at each of these sales pages when we click on the actual link icon. So for example, we got, we are able to change this to my logo, member login support. We can change this headline here. Remember, uh, it's just very easy to do. You just click on it Well, in the, um, the editor and you're able to change everything. So what we see is we have, apparently we have super curious headline that draws them right into this page, which is the hook. If you don't understand what all this means, that's okay. That's kind of the point of uh, the One Funnel Away Challenge. So you take it, this will all start to make sense. But the hook is basically what headline, the headline here that's gonna grab your attention and go, oh, hey, I wanna know about this. And then they have a video, so that's gonna explain uh, what this headline is. So and then we have a button here, I'm ready to buy. And then we go into what we call the sales page. And they just talk about a story, something that my niche market can relate to. Like for example, for me, I always bought shiny new toys. You have probably heard of it, the shiny toy syndrome, where you keep buying program after program, course after course, and either you finish it and you don't get the results you want until you go to the next thing, or you keep buying and you don't really finish because it's not doing what you think it wants to do, or you're not interested, or something else got your attention and you bought that. So 
that could be the story here. And what I'm doing here with that story is there's somebody out there besides me, a bunch of somebodies that did the exact same thing that I did. They bought programs, they didn't finish, or they didn't see the results, and then they skipped and they just prolonged their success, which is what I did. So that's a story. That's something that grabs your attention and goes, huh, I'm going through that same thing. What did she do that's different? And that's what I can do here. Again, introduce the story, picture of myself, talk about myself here. And then they give us prompts to say, hey, what would you like? What would your life be like if you could have the success I have? And then I share that. And then boom, there's the offer. Um, if I were talking about the 30 day challenge, which I have been, then this would be my offer. You need to do this program because I did it. The reason why I did this program was because I had shiny toy syndrome and it was driving me nuts. It was driving my family and friends nuts. And now I'm sticking to one thing. This is the final thing I'm going to buy. And I want you to share in it because I want you to be successful. I don't want you to buy any more shiny new toys. That's how the sales funnel works. Really? You share your story. You present an offer to the solution that the pain that I shared is probably the same pain that is shared with other people. And they, and the whole point of the story is to find the solution to that pain and then share it with others. I hope that made sense. So again, we keep what we call the call to action or CTA Buy it. You want to read some more, read more about it, read more about what you're getting. That's what you do. And then you describe more about what other bonuses you're going to get. And just entice people to want to buy because you're providing value. Each of these things are valuable in itself. Okay. And then boom, another call to action, buy this. And then we have some money back guarantees, some closing statements and the value stack is what this is called, where you just remind them what they're getting, what the value is and boom, you're only getting it for X amount of dollars. But so that's what, um, this sales page is all about. Now, I probably won't go through all of them, but I will just probably go through them um, like this instead of opening up each link because it takes forever to open. So here's the order forms, letting you know what you get. Don't worry, you're, uh, they have the encryption and stuff there so nobody's taking your number. I certainly don't want it. <laughs> I believe in karma. Okay, so here we go. And the one time offer page. Hey, don't miss this out, this amazing opportunity. Get this for this amount of money. And then we have the order confirmation page. Let's see what that looks like. Because this is the first time I'm seeing this, guys. So <laughs> again, this is all raw, not not edited or anything. Just I'm just walking you through what I'm learning right now in this uh, funnel challenge. So we got a our order complete page. So that's cool. And now it looks like we have a members area login, which I didn't know they were going to throw in, which I think is actually pretty cool. But in the later trainings, we'll, I'll figure out what this is and why we need it. And, um, oh, wow. Look at this. Okay. First section, first lesson module. Okay. So this is basically what I'll be putting in my members areas, this video. So this is where I can put it looks like, but again, since I have no idea all the hows and everything, oh, it looks like you can add a new lesson section, add a new lesson. Okay. Okay. This makes sense. Okay. Awesome. So anyway, that squeeze page that I created earlier, I can delete it now because I'm done playing with that squeeze page and then boom, it's gone. So this original page that I'm not messing with <laughs> is back and that uh, section where I had added the clone funnel, it's gone. So if you ever wanted to play with one of these pages, you'd make a clone of it and then you just play around with it. You say, Hey, I kind of like what's going on here. Then you'll probably be able to, uh, not really copy and paste, but you'll probably be able to change just a little bit of what's going on in these uh, pages with that clone page. If it's something that you like, just basically copy those elements and add it or you can just split test again, this could look completely different. And if that's the one that's performing the best, then you can use that instead. But again, that's more advanced. Um, and they'll probably may or may not teach us that in future trainings. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is ClickFunnels. This is the, the dashboard. Um, 
and this is where you're able to create all your pages. Um, it's best to use, um, uh, actually ClickFunnels gives you a way to use all their converting funnels. So all you have to do is just change the words, change the image, change the form, change colors, and add your content. And that's pretty much what it is. So uh, thanks again for following me. And this is just, this is week uh, three, mission number two. Tomorrow uh, I will share what we learn as we focus on this page only and we start adding.